How's it going everyone? This is Mark, your realtor, and today we're looking at another high low, but this one's actually in the market for this week. Who knows what, how, how soon it'll disappear. Uh, so this is gonna be in the Katy area, so let's take a quick look. So this is the cheapest home this week. It's a 22403 Red River Drive, and it's four bedroom, which is very nice for wanting to start a good family, two full baths. This is for 289. And then the building is 2,000 square feet. And then the lot size, seven, seven. front presentation, I think it looks very nice. They even added some brick to the uh, to the driveway. So you have a little bit more walking space when you park. And cute little arches in the front patio. Definitely could hang out on there, put a rocking chair, or just a porch or a bench. It'd be nice. Uh, let's take a look inside. So we got a lot of natural sunlight coming to the house, a lot of large windows to bring in the light. Makes it very warm. I like that. I don't like when the room's dark. It's got a nice fireplace. But when you live in Houston, most of the time you don't use it. So we moved over to the kitchen. Again, a lot of natural sunlight. I like that. And you got a little cute little kitchen island. I see a lot of good work in this kitchen. Probably need to change the stove or microwave now. It looks really old. And then that, that vent right there, we probably need to clean that. It's a lot of dust. Here's the backyard. It's got a nice large shed so that you don't have to put your, pretty much any, if you mow the lawn, you don't have to put it in the garage, you can put it in the shed or any of the stuff that you, your, possibly your girlfriend or wife would want you to put in the house. Here's another angle of the backyard, unfortunately, looks like. Looks like it's just not leveled, so like the water just comes into that one spot and just gets muddy and just drowns. But they changed it. It looks like a brand new sliding door. So this is going to be the next property. This is the average home available in the Katy area. So this one's four bedrooms, two and a half baths. This one's listed for 380,000. 2,500 square feet, 6,800 uh, square feet lot size. Definitely bigger, two story. Let's see, on the corner, which is nice. Dining room, uh, it's not very big, but you know, if it's, if it's just a family, but you know, who really uses a dining room anymore? Right here is the breakfast area in the kitchen. Looks dated, cabinetry's uh, original, original microwave, maybe new countertops. Uh, but you know, it's a nice kitchen, nothing too special. So here right here is the living room, which is very nice. I think it, I like how it actually opens up into the kitchen and the spot in the nice turning stairs. And then how the ceiling is all the way up to the second floor. I get kind of claustrophobic. To me, it gets a little stuffy with the low ceilings, in my opinion. So here's the upstairs. It's got a little gaming space or play area. And uh, this, this family really likes Disney. Yeah, it's a lot of Disney stuff. Looks like an office space in the back room right there. So this is the Masters. It's hard to tell by the furniture and maybe the, the size of the room or just the picture that makes the size of the room look like this. But you can definitely tell by if you look at the ceiling, usually the Masters rooms have that special higher up ceiling to give it more space. So this is gonna be the most expensive home this week in the Katy area. Uh, this one's also four bed. Uh, it's also two and a half bath, like the last one. But this one's a million dollars, or one million five hundred thousand, and thirty-three hundred square feet. So a little more wiggle room, a little more leg room, and then you actually get two point five acres of lot. So presentation-wise, is the front very traditional, kind of like this homey, somewhat southern vibe, just a little bit. This right here is a living room, very open space. Um, yeah, a much more traditional type of property. So you don't really get the, not, not a very high ceiling, but you know, it's not too bad. So this is the other side of the room, I assume, probably. But this is the living area. And then to the right is the kitchen and that breakfast area. They didn't have a kitchen picture, unfortunately. I really wanted to see the kitchen, you know that it's a million dollars but oh well so this right here is the masters looks like very much ample space they use carpet uh this feeling is mixed with the carpet in the house now i think most people prefer tile or laminate here's the bathroom walk-in shower full-size tub 
uh, double sink, full size vanity, so no one's sharing a sink. That's nice. And here's the back of the house. Very nice. It's got a really big uh, balcony. It's very big and a large pool. Look at that space. So if you like this, it's very roomy, secluded. Probably won't get bothered. Very peaceful. Let's see. Oh my God. So here's like a drone area top view. You really get to see how big that pool is. Wow. And then that balcony size, man, you can do a lot with this house. Hosts a lot of parties. And you're very, very spaced out apart from your neighbors. No problem. This is a very nice house. The house is so big, you need two AC units, one for upstairs, one for downstairs. That's pretty much it for today's high and low. If you liked it or if you uh, want to leave any feedback, let me know. If you want more information on these properties, you can give me a call at our office at 281-444-4848 or give me a call to my cell or text me 282-275-7188. I'll catch you all on the next video.